But then I realized judo, you do a lot of drills, and then jiu-jitsu just roll more. And I was like, oh, I think I, I like more just keep going, you know what I mean? And then I started getting more to jiu-jitsu more than judo. You know? Marcelo Garcia, a name synonymous with Brazilian jiu-jitsu, stands tall as an icon in the world of martial arts. This remarkable athlete's tale is one of unparalleled achievement, starting with his five world jiu-jitsu championships. Each victory displayed his skill, his dedication, his unyielding spirit, yet the story doesn't end there. Garcia went on to claim four ADCC Submission Fighting World Championship titles, further solidifying his position as a leader in the sport. This wasn't just a winning streak, this was a testament to Garcia's mastery of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, his understanding of the art, his ability to adapt and overcome. His accomplishments didn't go unnoticed. The International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation and the Abu Dhabi Combat Club both recognized the magnitude of his contribution to the sport, inducting him into their respective halls of fame. Garcia's name is etched alongside the greats, a testament to his impact and influence on the sport. A titan in the arena, Marcelo Garcia's accolades echo his mastery in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Born on January 17, 1983 in Formiga, Brazil, Marcelo's martial arts journey began not with Jiu-Jitsu, but with karate. As a young boy, Marcelo Garcia was drawn to the discipline and precision of karate. He admired the strength and technique of the karatekas, their movements crisp and deliberate. But as he grew older, his fascination with karate began to wane. He yearned for something more, something that was aggressive and dynamic. That's when he discovered judo. The rawness of judo, the force and the aggressiveness, ignited a spark in Marcelo. He reveled in the strategic throws, the swift footwork and the intensity of the grapples, but even with the thrill of judo, he knew he hadn't found his true calling yet. Then came jiu-jitsu. The moment Marcelo was introduced to the art of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, he knew he had found his passion. The fluidity of the movements, the intricate submissions, and the chess-like strategy of BJJ captivated him. He was hooked. Marcelo was not content with just practicing jiu-jitsu, he wanted to master it. He traveled to different academies, soaking up knowledge from various masters. Each journey was a pilgrimage, an opportunity to learn and improve. He moved to a bigger town to train with a better team, leaving no stone unturned in his pursuit of excellence. His dedication was unwavering, his determination unyielding. He spent countless hours on the mat, honing his skills, refining his technique. Every sweep, every guard, every submission was practiced to perfection. And it wasn't just about the physical aspect. Marcelo understood the importance of mental toughness, of strategy, of staying one step ahead of his opponent. Marcelo's relentless pursuit of excellence set the stage for his future in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Marcelo's talent for Jiu-Jitsu was undeniable and his career trajectory accelerated after his first Mundial's win. Brimming with potential and a hunger for greatness, Marcelo made the pivotal decision to relocate to Sao Paulo. Here he joined the renowned Alliance BJJ Academy, a move that would shape the course of his grappling career. Under the tutelage of Master Fabio Gurgel, Marcelo began to evolve, his skills refining and his understanding of the sport deepening. This period of growth saw Marcelo make another crucial decision, to train without the kimono, a shift in technique that would introduce him to the world of nogi grappling. Stripped of the traditional garment, Marcelo's style became even more dynamic, his movements fluid, and his attacks unpredictable. His mastery of this new discipline was swift, proving once again his adaptability and dedication to the craft. But the real testament to Marcelo's grit came during the ADCC tournament. Initially not in the competition, he was called upon as a replacement competitor. His response? An unexpected triumph. This victory was not just a win, but a statement. Marcelo Garcia had arrived, and he was here to dominate. His success in the tournament was a testament to his relentless training and unwavering belief in his abilities. His victories didn't just earn him titles, they also brought him financial stability. But true to his humble nature, Marcelo used his newfound wealth not for personal gain, but to gift his father a car, a heartfelt gesture that spoke volumes about his character. This period marked Marcelo's ascent to glory, his name now synonymous with Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But his journey didn't end there. The passion that fueled his rise continued to burn brightly, pushing him to achieve greater heights, to redefine the boundaries of what was possible in the sport. Marcelo's passion and dedication to Brazilian jiu-jitsu paved the way for his meteoric rise to the top. Marcelo Garcia's influence extends far beyond his personal achievements. This truth resonates through the halls of Alliance's headquarters, where Marcelo served as an assistant coach, 
shaping the future of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu by inspiring and training the next generation of champions. Known for his friendly demeanor, Marcelo's approach to coaching mirrors his approach to life, passionate, determined, and always with a smile. He instills in his students not just the techniques of jiu-jitsu but also the spirit of the sport, the resilience, the discipline, and the unwavering pursuit of excellence. Speaking of techniques, Marcelo has significantly influenced the practice of Brazilian jiu-jitsu with his favorite positions and moves. The arm drag, for instance, has become a staple in many BJJ practitioners' arsenals, owing to Marcelo's expert application of it. His mastery of the X-guard and butterfly guard positions have redefined what's possible on the mat, pushing the boundaries of the sport, but his influence doesn't stop with the more traditional techniques. Marcelo is also known for his innovative use of the guillotine choke and the mata leo, or rear naked choke. These techniques, once considered unconventional, are now widely adopted thanks to Marcelo's success with them in competition. Marcelo's impact on Brazilian jiu-jitsu is also evident in his role as a mentor. He has guided countless students on their journey in the sport, sharing his wisdom and experience. His teachings go beyond the physical techniques, delving into the mental and strategic aspects of the sport. Marcelo emphasizes the importance of staying calm under pressure, of thinking several steps ahead, and of constantly adapting to the ever-evolving dynamics of a match. Marcelo's legacy in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is not just about winning championships, but also about shaping the future of the sport. His influence, like his spirit, will continue to inspire generations of grapplers, ensuring that the flame of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu burns brightly for years to come. Even in the face of adversity, Marcelo Garcia's fighting spirit remains unbroken. In the midst of his triumphs, Marcelo was met with a formidable opponent off the mat. In 2023, he revealed he was battling stomach cancer, a fight far more daunting than any he had faced in the Brazilian jiu-jitsu world. Yet, Marcelo, known for his tenacity and indomitable spirit, met this challenge head-on, just as he had done with every opponent he'd faced in the ring. Marcelo's journey through this hardship was not easy, it was a grueling test of his resolve, pushing him to his limits both physically and mentally. Yet, like a true champion, he refused to succumb to his circumstances. His resilience, as powerful as his famous guillotine, was a testament to his character both on and off the mat. Throughout his treatment, Marcelo's spirit never wavered. He continued to coach, teach, and inspire even when his own body was at war within. His love for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, his dedication to his students, and his commitment to the sport never faltered. In this battle, Marcelo emerged victorious. After a taxing journey, he made a successful recovery, proving once again that he was a fighter, not just in the arena of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but in life itself. His battle with cancer showed the world a different side of Marcelo Garcia, a side that spoke volumes of his courage, his resilience, and his indomitable spirit. It showed that the traits that make a champion on the mat, determination, grit, and an unwavering will to win, are the same traits that make a champion in life. Marcelo Garcia, a true champion in every sense, continues to inspire millions with his enduring legacy in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu.